KU Panthers.tv following a 68-57 victory for Adelphi over Stonehill. Kevin Dexter now joined by assistant coach Mike Kerr. Coach, your impressions on your team's win, snapping a three-game losing streak. Well, we're very happy to get a win, and um, you know we've um, had a little. We had won a couple in a row before uh, before the break, and then we kind of went on a little bit of a skid. Uh, guys really fought hard tonight, and you know Stonehill has a lot of good shooters. So we did a good job on a couple of their key guys, and uh, we had guys step up, and um, you know we had. One big key, I think uh, Ryan DiNicola was one of our main guy was in, guys was in foul trouble right. really the whole game. and didn't play a lot of minutes, and a lot of other guys really stepped up and kind of um, picked up the slack. Well, you led by four at halftime, and it was kind of close throughout the beginning of the second half, and then you went on a big run. I believe it was an 11-3 run, and that's when Anthony LaBroya hit three big three-pointers in about a two-minute stretch. How much did that help the team, that run, to kind of give you a little bit of breathing room? Oh, it's great. I mean, uh, you, know, um, you know, Anthony uh, is capable of doing that, going on a run and hitting a bunch of shots. And, uh, you know, he got hot. He had a little bit of a tough shooting night last game. But that's, you know, he's, he's such a good shooter that that's not going to, you know, happen too often. So we're glad that he got rolling and did give us some breathing room and certainly, uh, you know, makes our life easier where there's, you know, there's at least a little bit of room for error, um, you know, uh, for the rest of the game. And we know this program prides itself on defense and half-court defense. And you hold Stonehill to 33% shooting for the game. Really did a good job on the defensive end, holding them down. You mentioned the job on their shooters, who shot really poorly from beyond the three-point arc. Yeah, no, we, we obviously played very well defensively uh, tonight. We did a good job on uh, Ryan Logan, um, who's one of their inside-outside guys. Right. And he's, he's a terrific player, and he was one of our main keys, and we did a nice job on him. You know, um, and, uh, and number 10, Carter Smith, is also a terrific scorer for them. And he, got a, he, got, he really tried to get going late. But, um, you know, we, we held them, you know, you know uh, a little under their average, I think, but um, you know we were very happy with the defensive effort, effort especially. I mean, you had the big game from Anthony Lebroya, but Dwayne Morgan seemed like he's really picked up his play, even though you've been losing as of late. Had another career high against Lemoyne with 23, 19 tonight. What have you seen difference in his game? Well, he's being much more aggressive, and we talk to him all the time about it. You know, uh, on days that he's not playing well, it's mainly because he's a little bit in and out with his aggressiveness and his, I don't know if it's confidence, but just like his, you know, his want to go make plays on every single possession. Right. Um, and the last couple games and, and in practices, you know, uh, recently he's been doing that and we've been really getting on him about it. And, um, you know, he's coming up with, you know, 15, 20 points, um, you, know, you know, seven, eight, nine rebounds a game. And, and, you know, we need him on the glass and he's really done a lot for us um, recently. He has a lot of talent. And uh, once he kind of gets gets his confidence confidence rolling, he's going to be he's he's a tough guy to stop. Well, finally, Hal head on a two game road trip heading up to St. Anselm next. Uh, what is this team going to take away from a win? Finally, getting that monkey off your back with that losing streak and trying to build on it now and up at St. Anselm. Well, I mean, uh, hopefully we'll we'll take some momentum and 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 just our some confidence in seeing that you know we can stop a good shooting team. Stonehill can shoot. St. Anselm's going to really really shoot. And, um, you know, I have multiple guys that are, that are dangerous from, from beyond the three-point line. And, you know, we, we showed that we could do it today. And uh, we need to, you know, keep doing it in practice, you know, leading up to Saturday. And it's going to be a very tough one up there. That's, that's a tough place to, to get one. And, and uh, if we can go up and, uh, and get a W up there, we're, we'll really be on a roll, I think. All right. Well, Coach, thanks for the time. Congrats on the win. Much. Once again, Adelphi with a 68-57 victory over Stonehill to improve to 4-9 and nine on the uh, four and 4-8, rather, on the season. Actually, 4-9. and nine. I missed up the record. 4-9 and nine on the eight. season. And they uh, snap a three-game losing streak for Joe Hutter and Coach Mike Kerr. I'm Kevin Dexter. Thanks for joining us. We'll speak to you next time Adelphi's home on the 18th.